So I'm going to share how to get our uh, midterm downloaded. So here's our class, or the synchronous class anyways. Click on course materials, which is where almost everything is. From here, don't refresh, this part takes a while. The e-text is at the top right here, so everything that you need for the A and B projects are the e-text up here. And the midterm's just on chapters one through three, so go ahead and click in to the midterm folder. And there it is. One thing to note, if you look at the calendar, I decided to give you an extra day to work on it, and I hope that helps. Um, so you'll have until 9 p.m. This It says 11.59 p.m., but this is Eastern Standard Time. So um, you need to have it in by 9 p.m. on Sunday, uh, May 9th, that's Pacific Standard Time, and you can turn it in as many times as you'd like and get feedback. So um, click into here, it's the year-end report. That'll open up a new page. And from there, download it. And these are the files you'll be using. Fortunately, there's just an Excel spreadsheet and a year end report instructions. So download these files. And I'm gonna have to share a different screen, but this should look, this will be just like all your graders. Download everything, you preview the steps, upload it, submit it for grading, and then we'll go from there. So bear with me a moment as I, you're gonna have to unzip this um, folder. So in just a second, I'll show you how to do that. Hopefully you can hear me, see me okay. Um, I'm gonna change my screen. Oh no, I don't have to change my screen on Panopto. So there's the, um, do I, don't I, I don't. The top one is your midterm. The bottom one is the instructions. There's the Excel worksheet, and it should look pretty similar with your quarterly sales and your uh, totals by category. Notice you'll have Seattle. Oh, you're not, hold on just a second. If you're on Teams, you're not able to see this, so this is gonna be a little bit tricky. Um, hang on, I've gotta reshare my screen. This is what the midterm looks like. And it'll look pretty similar to a lot of the projects that you've done already, okay? You've got your Seattle inventory, Denver inventory. You've got your average, median, lowest, highest prices, inventory summary, annual expenses, sales reps. All right. The next one is your instructions. Oh, it's not letting me open it because we have to extract everything. Did I really forget to extract? I'll show you with you the word instructions in just a moment. Another quick timeout. So the instructions are going to be a bit more comprehensive. And as you scroll down, you'll notice that um, we have 25 steps, OK? Now, the 24th and 25th, um, there are, you know, these should be pretty similar steps to what you've been doing on the grader. So as you scroll up, there are some um, there are some tough steps. I'm not going to be able to be as hands on and help out as much on the midterm. This is where you kind of use your resources and show me what you've learned in the first three graders. Um, but you'll see here you're going to calculate the totals and apply the total cell style. So you'll use the sum function. You need to know absolute cell reference, which is your F4 or command T, percent style, you've got spark lines that are coming up, you need to know how to fill a formula, okay, inserting charts, 
and chart styles. Anything that's in blue tells you that you need to um, rename something and name, like, okay, if it's in blue, basically you need to type something in. Blue means type. Let's see here. You need to figure out a percentage of total sales. So um, we went over that chapters two and three. So that'll be a 3D pie chart. Any of the graders that I've done, one, two, and three, thus far this quarter should be able to help you out on this work here. Chart title, data labels, as we go down, I have more than likely, yep, top bevel, bottom bevel. We did this on chapter three, custom footer. This, so then you're gonna, okay, so starting on 10, you're gonna know the average, median, minimum, and maximum retail price. Count if is going to be on the midterm. So that's something else. These are all things that you can go back and study. And again, you have until Sunday, May 9th to do this. It's like an if analysis. Yep. You need a table. Uh, you need to format tables as a range. Yeah. You need to format a range as a table and add filters. Removing the total row. All of this should just be a, a click of a button. Sorting, so you're going to know how to you're going to need to know how to filter things once you have added that filter row and sort it by smallest to largest. What else do we have here? Pretty comprehensive, but again, you can turn this in as many times as you'd like to get above a 90%. Display the inventory summary sheet. Yep, same thing. It's going to be pretty repetitive as it goes on. Um, Median, lowest price, highest price. Uh, enter a formula that references before in another sheet. So that's where you would just, um, if you're on the, let's see here, if you're on, say, the Seattle seat, sheet and you want to refer to something on another sheet, you just click in to the cell on the Seattle sheet and then type equals and then go to the other sheet and then click the cell that you want it to refer to, press enter, and then that'll work. That was, I believe... Uh, in the second half of chapter one. Totals by quarter, headings, absolute cell reference. Like I said, this is going to be one of the major things on our, in our class. Line with markers, charts, chart styles, format painter. And then projected expenses after. Um, this will be similar to the tail end of the grader the 100% plus that 3.5% 3, 3 so that you can uh, increase, um, like project increased sales over time, for instance. So like I said, no surprises here. Group the worksheets, changing the orientation. We've done everything that is that should be on our, um, on our midterm. So real quick on Teams, I'm going to uh, share my screen. Hang on. And so this is the Excel sheet right here. Seattle, Denver, inventory summary, annual expenses. And as you, yep, as you scroll down right here, this is going to be extremely similar to the last grader that we did. So the one that I recorded just the other day for grader three will show you precisely how to project these expenses, okay? So we should have plenty of resources. Um, your book's a great one. Use your resources, open note, open book. I just, the only thing is I want to make sure that you are the one doing this. And that's your midterm.